Hey everyone, King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Android 4.1 stock jelly bean ROM on your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. Um, first of all, you need to make sure that you do have a custom recovery installed. I do have Twerp Recovery, which is what I recommend. So do make sure you do have a custom recovery. Once you do, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to the AC Syndicate forums where awesome developer Dreams Forgotten and Shabby Penguin have gotten this ROM going for us, both ACS members of course. So here we go, let's go ahead and get into it. So what we're gonna need to do is scroll down. There's actually a couple options to download. You will see right here, there is RC1 and RC1 Big Rush Dog style. Basically, um, the Big Rush Dog style includes the circle mod, reboot options, and some more added tweaks. So if you want uh, that battery circle mod and other tweaks as well, download the Big Rush Dog one. If not, if you want it completely stock, download the first link. I downloaded loaded the first link, so that's the one I'm going to install. Anyways, uh, you're also going to need to download to fix MMS, which would be picture messaging. To fix it, click on this link right here or on your phone, navigate to that link and download it. Uh, you're just going to need that file to replace it, which will fix MMS for you. So get that on your phone as well. So transfer both of those files. It should be telephony.db files along with the ROM zip itself. So transfer them over to your device. Once transferred it over, you're ready to go. Go back to your phone. All right, once we're back to our device, we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. So go ahead and power off your phone. All right, once your phone's completely powered down, we're going to need to get into the bootloader. To do so, press and hold volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of them. And let go once it gets to this screen. Go ahead and press volume down twice until it says recovery mode, then press the power button to select it. Then it's gonna go ahead and reboot you into your custom recovery. As you can see, team win recovery, boots on up. So first of all, I highly recommend making, making an Android backup first. Just press the backup button and make an Android backup. That's what I highly recommend doing for everyone. So make sure you do do that. I already have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and install this ROM. So first of all, you need to go to your wipe menu. Go ahead and do a factory reset wipe data and swipe to wipe. So it's gonna completely wipe everything, all your apps, your contacts, your text messages, all that good stuff. So back everything up as needed. Once done, hit the back button, then go ahead and press cache and wipe that as well. So go ahead and wipe your cache, hit back, hit Delvic cache, and then wipe that as well and hit back. So factory reset cache, Delvic cache, wipe all of them. Once done there, hit the back arrow, then go ahead and go to install and then find that ROM zip that you have downloaded. It should be called something like Are You Gelin? Updated Zip, something like that. That is what mine is called the latest. So go ahead and hit swipe to confirm to flash. What it's going to do is go ahead and load up the ROM and it's going to go ahead and install it. It will take a bit of time, a few minutes, so make sure you are patient with it. Um, I'll be back once it's done installing. All right, as you can see, successful ROM is done installing. Just hit reboot system. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot our phones. It'll take a bit of time to boot up the first time, let you see that awesome jelly bean boot animation, actually. I'm gonna let it boot up, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can fix MMS on your device so you can get picture messaging going. Other than that, though, everything should work just fine. Uh, once you get MMS going, everything should be good. There's that jelly bean boot animation, but uh, there we have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up. All right, and here we go. So just boot it on up, the jelly bean, stock jelly bean ROM. So let's go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and under about phone, you will see Android version 4.1 right there. So you are running jelly bean on your Galaxy Nexus under build number. You should see are you gelling right there. Um, but other than that though, let's go ahead and get MMS fixed for you guys. I downloaded an application called ES File Explorer. You can go ahead and go into it. Again, you do need to download that telephony.db file. Uh, it's a Dropbox link actually, so you can click on that. But anyways, what you need to do is go ahead and press menu and go to settings. And under settings, go ahead and check up to root. And you also need to check root explorer and hit yes. And then it's going to ask for super user permissions, hit grant, and there we go. So um, go ahead and grant it super user permissions, and now what we're going to need to do is check mount file system right there. And there we have it. So now we're ready to go. 
Uh, what we can do now is once we get to basically our SD card navigate to where that Telefani DB file you downloaded is, as you can see mine is right there, press and hold on it and hit copy. So we're going to need to copy that file, press up right up here at the top and now go into the data folder and then go ahead and go into the data folder again and inside that data folder I believe you should find com.android.providers.telephony so let's go ahead and find it um, that providers right here so com android providers you can... alright so you'll scroll down and you will see uh, com.android.providers uh, go to you'll see com.android.settings go to two before that one so com.android.providers two before the settings one and select it and then up at the top you should see it scroll com.android.providers.telephony right there to let you know basically you're in the right one now go ahead and go into the databases folder and once in the databases folder go ahead and delete the telephony.db file that is right in there so go ahead and press and hold on it and just hit delete and hit OK. Now once deleted, go ahead and press this paste button and it will paste that telephony.db file in there. Go ahead and press and hold on that. Scroll all the way down and go into properties. Uh, when you go to properties, you'll see permissions, press change. And then basically what you want to do is hit read write on basically all of them. So make sure all this whole thing is checked. Hit OK and hit OK again. And once hit OK, uh, we're ready to go. Go ahead and back out of everything and go ahead and hit reboot. So it'll go ahead and reboot your device and once booted up, I will be back. All right, my phone has rebooted and that would be it. So you're good to go. Uh, MMS should work just fine. You'll see, obviously you are on Jelly Bean Android 4.1, got all those awesome features. You're pinching on your notifications to expand them all that good stuff. So I'm not really gonna do a full review of the ROM because I already have a review of Jelly Bean, so I will link to that in the description. I was basically reviewing this ROM anyways. So be sure to check out that review video. Um, it's, it's actually pretty comprehensive. Press and hold on the home button, you got Google Now, all that good stuff. So definitely be sure to check out that review video so you can kind of check out all the new features and such. So I will link to that for you guys. Other than that though, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up